What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about this guitar right here. So, let's do it. Before we get started, I just want to encourage you to check out the description below where you can find some uh, links to my social media and also you can find like some shortcuts to where I'm going to be playing uh, and where I'll quit talking. Also, I just want to encourage you to subscribe. I uh, post weekly videos on guitar, music in general, and uh, yeah, goofy stuff sometimes. So, let's get into it. So first I just want to talk objectively about this guitar. This is a triple zero auditorium Fender model uh, which is similar to the orchestra size guitar from Alvarez. Uh, it has a cutaway. Here the top wood is laminated flame maple. Uh, back and sides laminated lace wood. Uh, body uh, is a gloss finish. On the back of the neck you have a gloss finish. You have a tortoise, tortoise, tor, tor, tortoise, well, tortoise shell, tortoise shell, tortoise shell. Gosh, that's hard to say. You have a tortoise shell. You have a tortoise, tortoise shell, tortoise shell. Why is that so hard for me to say? I don't understand. Tortoise shell, tortoise shell, tortoise shell, tortoise shell. Tortoise shell. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. But, you know, that's just how I'm going to say it because it would be funny if I am saying it wrong. Because, I don't know, it would be comedy. Tortoise shell body binding. Uh, aged white binding on the neck. Uh, you got chrome hardware everywhere. The fingerboard of this is uh, Indian Laurel or Indian Yanny, if you prefer. Uh, the wood is NATO on the neck. Uh, the scale length is 25.3 inches. It's got 20 frets. The nut and saddle is a tusk material, uh, which is new, new wood or new bone. I think new bone. That's what it is. And if you look it up, it says it's a propri proprietary uh, material, which basically means they're not releasing what kind of material it is, which makes me think that it might be illegal, but probably not. That's just made in Indonesia so maybe Rhino Horn or something I don't know electronics we got Fishman electronics here it's got a two band EQ it's got a tuner uh, yes so now I'm just gonna talk about what I think about this guitar so firstly this is my buddy Caleb's guitar uh, we work together I teach him some lessons sometimes cool guy um, and he bought this guitar over this past Christmas, which is like a month ago. Uh, and I wanted to do a review video about it, so he was like, Hey, here's this guitar. You can borrow it. And I was like, Lit, I'll try not to drop it. And if I do, I'm not going to tell you about it. Ha ha! Just kidding. But I am super careful with all the stuff that I take. And I have not dropped it. And I have been extremely careful with it. Let me say it again. This guitar is great. I like it. Um, again, I like I like a flat finish here, semi gloss, whatever. Because because I mean, my hands get a little sweaty sometimes. Even though it's like literally the coldest part of my body. This guitar has a great sound. It looks really good. It's got really cool inlays on the fretboard. Uh, it's got a really great responsive tone. You can get a powerful sound out of this. Uh, sounds good plugged in. So I mean, overall, this is a good guitar, and like I've enjoyed uh, the day I've had with it since I borrowed it from Caleb. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm gonna play it first, uh, just with the camera recording it, and then I'm gonna play it running through the Mac through Logic Pro, uh, so we can get a, two different kinds of sounds out of it, and you can see what you think about it. So let's do it. <laughs>
right, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in to this YouTube video. Uh, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe, support this content, and I appreciate you sticking around this long. So I'll see you next time.